Today I will be fixing a broken high definition multimedia interface cable. You will need the following high definition module connector, connector, multimeter, pliers, utility knife, and high definition mounting box. Next you need to cut the casing with a utility knife. Cut a slit of about 10 cm. Also push back the protective mesh wire. Make sure not to damage the ground wire as it is under the protective mesh wire. Remove tin paper and plastic wrapping. Note some cables may not have all these protective layers. Clean all wire ends so that copper wire is revealed and clean. Next get the other working end of your cable closer. Then insert working end into connector. The reason why I am using the connector is that if your broken cable is in a ceiling or a wall you have to connect a long enough cable. To get both the working end and broken cable ends closer together, you can loop up to a 20 meter to do this test. Note that your total length cannot exceed 40 meter unless you have a repeater connected in the middle. Next I will use a multimeter to do a continuity test. Select the continuity function on the multimeter. The symbol looks like this on most meters. Next do a continuity test on each wire while placing one prong into first slot on module and other on cable going through each cable until correct cable is found by using the continuity test. Do not worry about the readings on the multimeter. Next you need to place the correct cable into the corresponding slot on the module. Start on one side then move to the other side ending at the ground wire. You do not need to do this in any particular order with regards to the numbers. There are also two holes for securing and neatening up the wires. Close the wire with the casing and cover with insulation tape. Lastly I have a short clip showing how the fix works. Thank you for watching.